As soon as they tap, you just qualify yourself. So I'm going to start here, maintain my grip, and then I'm going to pull in the guard. <coughs> Step out wide, and I want to fall this way when I sit. <laughs> Another variation you can do um, is called an arm end guillotine. It's not as tight, but it's uh, mostly because most people don't know how to finish it. Like this. Less pressure. This is, yes, this is less pressure. But I can still finish it. Watch. I'm going to suck my forearm as tight to his neck as possible. I set this leg out. Why not? I do the same uh, guard thing. Okay, so I go here. Now, go over the arm, connect my hands. Step out wide to my body. Off my guard. Now, the issue with this is you all think we need to extend to finish this. That, there's your problem. And what I need to do is in most variations of chokes, I need to push the tension. So, me extending. It's actually counterproductive. I'm extending his head out. So I'm straightening his neck. I don't want that. I want to push his chin to his chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull my knees to my chest and then touch my uh, right elbow to my right knee. So I pull my knees to my chest. See, that's how that his back is straight. It, it rounds his back. And then it, it creates space where I can now push the head to the chest. You get it? So I'm here. Underhook, snap the head. I go over top the arm. You can do both, so do both guillotine. Step out wide, sit to your butt. Notice I sit that way, towards the head I have. Maintain your grip, pull your knees to your chest, and, and then shrug your shoulders. And then you'll try to touch your elbow to your knee. And that's how you finish the turn. One more time. Go on here. Start with a collar tie, under one, shift off to one side, snap the head, connect my grip. Go over top, pop the pump. Step, sit, pull towards his head. Lock my guard. Once I block my guard, I'm going to pull my knees to my chest, touch my elbow to my knee, and compress his head to his chest. You guys got that? 